Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to a week of family meals. It's been ages since I filmed a video like this, so what I thought I would do is just film what I make for my family across an entire week, show it to you guys, and hopefully give you some new meal inspiration and ideas as well, because I know that I am personally always looking for new meal inspiration. Writing my meal plan each week is like the bane of my life. I'm always like, okay, what is everyone gonna eat? What is actually gonna be healthy and quick as well? This is a typical week for us. So we've got school, clubs, work, the usual kind of thing. So I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, give it a big like and subscribe if you're new. And I'm also really excited because this week I'm trying out some new Disney themed recipes from Ocado. They've teamed up to make these like Disney themed like meal bundles and it's really clever. So I've ordered three of them, but if you go onto their website, you can see which ones they have. They've got a Moana themed recipe, a Disney Cars themed one, 101 Dalmatians. They've even got a Frozen one, an Aladdin one. Like there's a bunch on there and you can actually look at the characters, look at what the meal includes. And then if you like the look of it, you can actually just add the whole bundle to your shop and it will just arrive with your groceries will be delivered to your door and it will also come with a recipe card that you can follow so you can actually keep it for future if you want to make it again and it just takes you step by step how to make each meal they're also really easy to make they're all well balanced meals and really fun as well and i think anything that can encourage our kids to get more excited about meal time and actually want to eat dinner can only be a good thing. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So tonight we're going to be trying out the Lion King, what's it called? The Lion King themed super green grub pasta. So it looks really cool. I guess it's like the grubs that they eat in Lion King itself. Um, so I'm going to test it out. It's only five ingredients as well. So that's what I'm making tonight. But obviously I'll try a few more throughout the week and I'll put all the links in the description down below. So if you click on that, you can see what I'm talking about, see what the meal look like and my own recipes I'll just type them out um, and I should also mention that we're still in our temporary kitchen we're currently doing renovations which you may know and I should have my brand new kitchen in like two weeks or so all being well but yeah anyway let's get started with my week of family meals Okay, so this is the recipe card for the Lion King green grub pasta. I really liked how easy this one was to make. It only took about 20 minutes or so, and it's just five ingredients, six simple steps on the back of the recipe card, and even my older children could actually follow the instructions. It was really tasty. It reminded me of like a pesto pasta type recipe. It's vegetarian as well. There's three different veg in there, and I know some people can be scared of like all the green, but my kids actually really liked this and it was simple. So as you can see, Fraser was helping me out. So he's just ripping the broccoli apart and then we actually cut up the broccoli stem as well. There's loads of nutrients in it. So we're gonna just chuck that in because we're gonna blend it up. And then I'm also gonna put on the pasta while that's cooking. Once it's done, you put it into a food processor or in my case, I used my blender. I'm gonna add in the basil leaves, a good glug of olive oil, and I'm gonna whiz that all up together. And then I'm also gonna add add some grated cheese to that sauce and blended it up so now that is like a bit of a pesto with the pasta when it's got like two or three minutes to the end you add in the rest of the broccoli and the peas as well um, so yeah that's the sauce and that's the pasta and veg all strained once it's all cooked and then yeah you basically just stir in that veggie kind of pesto sauce and then a good like um, squeeze of the lemon as well and then I'm adding in the grated cheese and that is pretty much it super quick to make it's really really moorish as well um, the cheese really adds to the flavor and it's just so simple and filling a great one on the nights that my kids have football or gymnastics I kind of want to like fill them up with pasta I think a lot of kids do like pasta and like this kind of pesto pasta um, even if they take out the chunks of broccoli like they're still getting it in the sauce itself so yeah we really really liked this one so I just put Jackson's dinner down in front of him and he said it does look like bugs we've never had this pasta before have we 
that one was really really good really quick to make veggie as well and i'm actually gonna have seconds it's so tasty the cheese and the basil like you don't even notice the broccoli at all in the sauce um so yeah all in all that's a winner the big boys are at football training so i've actually saved them a plate to have when they get back hi guys so it's a new day now and it's only about quarter past four but the kids have got home from school and they're eating so many snacks i'm just gonna get on and make dinner straight away and tonight i'm making a very easy staple dinner you may have even seen this one on my channel before I included this recipe in my fussy eater meals because it's great if you have a fussy eater I'm making homemade sausage rolls today with hidden veggies like within the meat and then I'm gonna make curly fries on the side and some other raw veggies to eat as well this is such a good one because as I said everyone loves it in this house but when my kids were younger and they were really fussy I quickly discovered that if you package up meat and vegetables in like a nice beige parcel which is what I'm gonna do with puff pastry then they tend to eat it and like it a little bit easier um, so I hope you really enjoyed this video this is such a good one honestly these don't last five minutes in my house like if I make 12 tonight they'll be gone tomorrow if there's any leftovers I'll send them into school and pack lunches as well or we like them as a snack um, and you only need about five ingredients I think so let me show you what you need yeah so again this is a really quick easy one these are the ingredients that you're going to need just five or six ingredients and the first step is to grate down one medium courgette and one large carrot as well I wish I could grate this quickly in real life um, but anyway once it's all grated you're then going to put it into a frying pan with a little bit of oil and also some garlic you can use fresh or I'm using my garlic paste again and then you just want to add the grated carrot and courgette and heat it through for about four minutes you don't really want to like brown it um, you just kind of want to really soften it so that it's like less noticeable in the sausage meat but anyway once it's done after four minutes then you just chuck it in a bowl with about 350 grams of sausage meat and then I just ended up mixing it with my hands it was easier and once it's all mixed then you just roll out your puff pastry and then cut it in half and they're going to form your two big sausage rolls then you can literally just put it down the middle I put quite a lot to be honest so they are quite thick ones um, and then you just fold it over and use a fork to kind of secure it um, and then you have two big long sausage rolls I tend to cut them up um, but you could cut them large you could cut them small like it's completely up to you so I've cut them in this kind of size and then I'm just going to beat an egg and then do a bit of an egg wash onto the um, what's it called sausage rolls <laughs> um, and yeah just to like make it all look nice and golden brown when it comes out and then you stick it into the oven for about 25 to 35 minutes depending on how much sausage you've actually got in them I'm using my air fryer because as you know we don't currently have a kitchen and then this is them after about 25 minutes and then I'm also making some curly fries to go alongside it and yeah this is what they look like at the end I'm also going to do just some raw veggies. My kids love salad or veggies, especially in the summer. So I'm just doing like a little bit of cucumber on the side um, and we're all gonna have this. And that is pretty much it. A simple, like nice, yummy dinner. So good. Did you like them? Mom. Yeah, good boy. Okay, so now it's a new day and tonight we're having polka dot pizza. We're actually gonna eat outside as well. And this is the 101 Dalmatian themed meal. It's very easy, delicious again. So I'll show you how to make it. And I forgot to say that all of the recipe cards and ingredients that you get serve two adults and two children, but we actually found that it was more than enough for our family of five. And we also found a QR code on the recipe card and if you scan it it takes you to a Disney themed activity so tonight it was like a dot to dot which was 101 Dalmatians as well um, but anyway first off we're gonna make the dough I've got all the ingredients laid out and I was surprised how easy the dough was to actually make so all you have to do is put plain flour into a bowl wholemeal flour into a bowl and then you add a little bit of yeast and I also added mixed herbs 
give that all a good mix make a well in the middle and then added some water and then you just kind of want to mix that all together and once it's mixed then you can start kneading and pulling it um, and I actually got the kids involved in this because it's basically like playing with play-doh and Caleb loves cooking out of all of them he probably enjoys it the most he always says he'd like to be a gymnast or a chef um, so he was kind of kneading and pulling it and then when it was all really mixed together we made it into a ball and then put that into a bowl and covered it up while we got on and did everything else so hopefully that could rise a little bit um, the next step is to cut some squash up into thin slices I would never think to put squash on a pizza but this was surprisingly delicious and once it's sliced you actually put it into the oven while that was cooking I cut up the what will be the Dalmatian spots the olives and then I'm going to mix the topping up so it's basically ricotta cheese and some grated cheese as well this is how much the dough rised in just about 15 minutes or so it really did grow um, and then you actually want to split it up um, into half so you can make two big pizzas or what we actually did was make three because each child wanted to make their own so I'm rolling it out can't find my rolling pin so I'm using our granola container because our kitchen is just upside down but it worked pretty good and then Caleb was first up to make his pizza so he's just adding on the ricotta to cheese mix as a topping once he's put that on he's going to add the squash pieces which have been cooked and then the dalmatian spots which are the olives and then we're adding a little bit more of the grated cheese on top and then you just stick that into the oven for eight to ten minutes while that was cooking away i made a really simple salad which was included like this arrived in the ocado shop as well um, so you can make a nice side salad and it was such a beautiful night we decided to eat outside so these are each of the boys pizzas jackson's we were joking that it looks like australia or something um but yeah i'm just going to slice that up and then we're all just going to have pizza and salad outside. You can see our deck is like getting there. Um, the stickers have come off of our extension now as well, which is really exciting. And we ate this. Like I've never really had like a pizza without the tomato sauce, but it was actually really really delicious the kids liked it the dogs were really interested you probably just saw the neighbor's dog then um so yeah i really like this one and i would definitely make it again hi guys so tonight for dinner i'm making the most simple meal i've had a really busy day so i actually just picked up a whole cooked chicken from a local shop and then i'm going to make some wedges in the air fryer on the side and some salad as well this has been such a good dinner to make especially while we've been renovating because if i forget to put something into the slow cooker or like don't organize dinner i know that i can buy like a whole cooked chicken and that kind of feeds all of our family of five um, so i'm literally just going to chuck some wedges in the air fryer i feel like wedges in that are just so nice they come out really crispy and the kids really like them and then i'm going to chop up loads of veg and like have like a bit of a salad on the side as well so i'll just show you how i do it but it's a very simple easy one just being kind to myself tonight Okay, so to make the wedges, it couldn't be simpler. I'm literally gonna cut some potatoes into like wedge shapes and then stick that into a bowl. I'm gonna season it, use some olive oil. You can also add some smoked paprika or I've actually got like this like wedge seasoning so i'm gonna put some of that onto it and then stick that into the air fryer there's actually a chip setting which is great because it tells you halfway through when to like give it a shake and stuff um so yeah so that's in and then all like i'm gonna do while that is actually cooking is make a simple salad again and then cut up the chicken and have it all ready so that when the wedges are done all i have to do is kind of like put them out but yeah in my salad all that's going in is cucumber red pepper and salad itself the boys will eat salad they've started to like salad dressings and get a bit more into the actual lettuce itself which is a real breakthrough um and yeah and then this is the roast chicken that i bought it will just about feed our whole family of five and i give kiki any of the off cuts as well um and yeah i'm just gonna put the wedges out and that is pretty much dinner we're all gonna sit down please excuse our front living room it doesn't actually look too bad here actually but as you know we're kind of living in like this one room um i think matt was actually getting home later tonight so i've just like saved him a plate um so yeah that is tonight's dinner a nice quick easy one perfect if you're renovating as well
Okay, so it's a new night and tonight I'm making the traffic light burgers. This is the Disney Cars themed meal and again, it's vegetarian. I actually noticed that a lot of the Disney themed meals on Ocado were actually vegetarian, which was great because it makes my life easier. We're still trying to eat veggie three to four nights a week. So it was really easy that I could kind of just add those and that is all done. This meal as well is actually four of your five a day. So this is everything that you're gonna need. Um, first up, you wanna take sweet potatoes and prick them and then put them into the microwave till they're soft and while they were cooking away I actually drained and rinsed chickpeas and then I'm also going to peel and chop up sweet potatoes into kind of like chip shapes because we're going to make sweet potato fries to go on the side of this so I'm just going to cut them up then add some olive oil to them you can also add some smoked paprika as well and then something I've never actually used or thought about before um, but was in this recipe is to add like fajita seasoning you do want to save some of the sachet for the burgers themselves and it did give it a really nice flavor so I'm just going to chuck those into the air fryer let them cook as normal and then while they are I'm going to make the actual burgers themselves so once the sweet potatoes are really soft that were in the microwave I'm just going to take out the contents put them into a bowl add the chickpeas as well and then some more fajita seasoning i'm just going to mush it up you could use a fork i'm actually using a potato masher um, you just kind of want to make it a really good mix like that then pat it down and you can actually cut it into like four so that will make four good sized burgers then you kind of just Put them into a burger shape in your hands and then you want to bake the burgers until they're nice and crispy and then while they are cooking i just got everything else ready and that is pretty much your traffic light burger serve it with sweet potato fries um, and you might even have some leftover salad as well from the ingredients that you get and that is pretty much everything the kids really enjoyed these i couldn't believe how much they ate especially fraser he really really liked this dinner i would definitely make it for him again like he didn't even mind that it wasn't actual burger he loved the sweet potato burger hi guys so today I'm actually putting the dinner on at about 11 a.m. because I'm going to be using my slow cooker it's been such an amazing tool while we've been doing the renovation work and having our new kitchen made it's been great to use but obviously you do have to be organized and like put stuff on in the morning the dish that I'm making tonight it does only take like four hours in the slow cooker um, so you can do it like at lunchtime or whatever but I think it's one of my favorite favorite dishes to make it's a honey and mustard chicken it's very simple and then you can like serve it with mash or rice or whatever you want so you basically just brown the chicken breasts and then chuck it into the slow cooker with honey mustard spring onion and some chicken stock and then when it's nearly done about 15 minutes to go you also add some double cream or some creme fraiche and then some frozen peas as well so I'll show you how you do it but I really love this dinner it's really healthy it's delicious and the kids eat it as well which is obviously a plus so I'm gonna put that on now okay so this is everything you're gonna need I've got some cut up chicken breasts but chicken thighs work so well for this as well I've got some spring onions some Dijon mustard honey butter and chicken stock and the first step is to brown your chicken either in a frying pan or if you have a slow cooker with a browning setting that is what I have and it's so handy if you actually don't don't have a slow cooker and you're thinking of getting one I would recommend getting that because it saves me on dishes because it's all in one pot so while that's browning I'm going to chop up about eight sprigs of spring onion I'm going to flip it over to brown it on both sides and I'm also going to make up the chicken stock I think it was about 150 ml of chicken stock I'm also seasoning the chicken as well and then that is pretty much the hard bit then you stick it onto the slow cooker setting add in your spring onions add in the chicken stock and then add in a tablespoon of mustard and two tablespoons of honey and then give all of that a good mix and that is pretty much it then you cook it on low for four hours obviously with the browning some of it did just cook 
Um, and yeah, I quite like that it's like a bit of a quicker one at just four hours. So yeah, it's gonna give that a mix. And then as I said, towards the end of the dinner with like 15 minutes to go, you can add in some double cream or add in some creme fraiche and then also add some peas as well and then let them cook. This is actually old footage with the meal that we just had. We were so desperate to eat. I completely forgot to film the end result and we just started eating. But this is what it looks like at the end. Honestly, this is such a good one to try. I feel like it's a great one for summer as well. You can serve it just with veg, as I said, mash, rice. This was with like little sauteed potatoes but it's very delicious and one that everyone will eat because it's very sweet. And for my last dinner, it doesn't get any simpler than this. This is a 10 minute meal. It's just salmon, rice, and veg. We all love this dinner in our house. Sometimes I'll marinate the salmon in soy sauce and honey, or a little bit of lemon, or those little um, dill and lemon sachets that you get in the supermarket. But tonight, I literally just put it into the air fryer. There's like a fish setting. It's really quick. I just made the basmati rice as normal, it just takes 10 minutes. And then I made broccoli for me and Matt that we had to use up, but the kids really do like peas in this dinner. And this is how the boys eat it. It's really weird. They like it all mixed up, almost like baby food still, but they eat it all up. So I'm pretty happy about it. So you get the rice, you get the salmon. They also like beans in it. Don't judge me. I don't know. They just really like beans with it and peas. And then you just mix it all together and that is what they will eat. But they honestly really, really enjoy it. Um, and it's a nice healthy dinner. Whereas then Matt and I will have salmon, rice and veg just like not all mushed up uh, but yeah that is the last dinner that i wanted to show you guys i really hope you like this video let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and i'll put all the links below and i'll see you soon bye guys